Welcome back, Acron fans! This is the last game between Vikran and Kitan. Actually, this is game six. They had another game beforehand, which is also on Hills, but they didn't have the replay for something. I'm not sure exactly what happened there. But anyway, this is the sixth game between the two, and Vikran, once again, is going for CISO. Kitan is going for Grekim, as usual. So, Vikran, I'm sure we'll be going for the same strategy, the proxy macrofab. So RP, 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 Importer, Factory, build up a couple of ATHCs, build up a mech, build up a proxy macrofab, and then use that to build Martanks and tear down Kitan's base. Kitan, I'm not sure what he's going to go for. I still think the Octopod is the way to go, like having three or four Octopods at the start, just to beat back the Martanks, the initial Martank attack, initial ATHC attack, patrol around the base while getting Spire for air units, and really two or three QPRPs. By the way, this is Hills version 1.5. This is a rather old version of Hills. So they're playing on it. Older version of Hills, not the newer version that we were using, that we've been seeing for other games. I guess they were rather concerned that there wasn't enough money before, so yeah, old version of Hills. Much more in the way of economy, much more resources in the base. And given the fact that the RPs are more expensive, I don't think this will actually have the same hyper expansion problem that it used to. Though it will allow for more money just in general. We'll see what plays out, I'm quite curious. I've I haven't really seen a lot of the old maps, the old versions of maps since we've been tinkering a lot with ERPs and different playstyle ideas. Very interesting to see what happens here. And very quickly, a proxy factory from Kitan. Wow, okay, oh, sorry, from Vikran. So this is even more proxy than it was before. I mean, proxy factory and probably proxy macrofab as well. Vikran is getting very cocky. Kitan, on the other hand, is... He sees that there's attack coming in from that's a scouting attack that was normal. And building up that early... Octo, the multiple RPs. This Octo will not be able to build up an RP from here, but it will at least be able to exist. That's all he really needs. That'll buy him some time. Because this Octo, it can become an RP now. Or, well, okay, jump back a bit. But now it can become an RP. Bit surprised he isn't changing it to an RP, but it can be. Not sure what he's focused on right now. I really am not. He has nothing else to focus on. Here we go. Morphing into an RP. And Vikran, on the other hand, at the 201 mark, got his proxy factory, got his initial build. He also has two, two out of three reserves, so he's got his, his importer almost filled up. And there's the, the use of it to the ATC rush. And of course the main attack from the SOP and Marine. So, Kaiden of course has to deal with this. Probably going to do his st standard build, building up a Seppi, building up a Reef. And then not doing much else from there. I really am surprised he isn't going for more QPRPs. I, sorry, he knows that Kaiden is going for, or Vickers is going for rushes. And the Octopods have done really well so far in keeping the ATHCs at bay. At the very least, keeping the ATHCs at bay. At least that buys him a bit of time. If he really does need air units, it buys him a bit of time to get more QP and then from there, build up air units. Because Vikarin, like I said, is not going that heavily for economy. He is going very heavily for his rush. He's going very heavily for ATHCs and early attacks. And his ATHC is hitting at the three minute mark, about 30 seconds prior to the Act Natural game. But I'm still surprised. I mean, Kitan could have Octopus at this point. He is getting, however, four Octos and using them aggressively. Quite aggressively, actually. This is at the one. This is the one minute mark. He's going full on Octo Rush. So Kitan has just decided he's fed up with this. He's going right for his own rush, just counter rushing entirely. Unfortunately for him, the factory is a proxy factory, so he's not going to be able to actually spot it along the way. But he will be able to see that there is no factory in the main base, and that it likely is a proxy factory. However, Hills being the map, it is. Vikran could very well have it back here. He doesn't, but he could. And Kitan might be thinking that. I don't know if he's aware of the proxy factory or aware of the possibility of a proxy factory happening, given how quickly the ATHCs came in. But it's worth noting. Proxy factory. Three minute ATHCs. You see the ATHCs at the three minute mark? There's probably a proxy factory you have to deal with. Where it is, of course, it's hard to tell, but that's probably what it is. So Vikran, as we can see from his point of view, is dealing a ton of damage. Kitan, however, is about half a minute down from there. And we can see the Octo Rush is not going. Not sure why he's not attacking with it yet. I really am not. I don't know what he's waiting for. I, granted, he's not in the best position. This factory is where he needs to be. But still, that Octo Rush is not doing anything. Heck, if it ran in and just started ripping apart that importer, he'd, he wouldn't have anything to worry about ever. Because he could go back around here and just attack the importer. But no. No, the Octos are retreating. I, I don't know why. Oh, no, actually, I do know why. Because attack on the... Arcticus. The Arcticus are going back to help out the Arcticus mates. But I'm really surprised he has not decided to attack the main base. I don't know what he's afraid of. He has the chrono energy for it. Ah, here we go. Finally attacking the main base. 
possibly waiting for the unplayable past edge, but he had time before, like, around here was when the rush started. He just straight up attacked from then. Still, the attack will be propagating in the unplayable pass, so it will deal some damage, but I don't think it'll be dealing damage quickly enough. Like, the, that importer was the big thing. That's where damage needed to be dealt, and... No, Kaiden is not doing anything with that. I, I'm really surprised. Because this is after the... the pro, I think this is after the propagation. The red time will definitely propagate that attack. And... Kaiden... That's the thing on all this stuff. Kaiden has not been aggressive enough. He hasn't really... He's been very timid about how he's been playing out. And I think... I'm not entirely surprised. I mean, Vikran is... Vikran's a really good player. And he's known for being a really good player. And, you know, when you're playing as a good player, it's hard not to be timid. And here we go. Now he's attacking the importers. But that importer has already done its job. And granted, that will slow things down. That will definitely buy Kaiden some time. But that's not enough. Now, building, destroying the, the LCRPs will buy Kaiden a lot more time. But what Kaiden needs now is Octobots. Even a Faro would help, actually. Just for its range. The Faro would help. Oh, and how about that? Using his Faro to help. And it looks like he's... Okay, Faro's as Octo support. Really, the Octobots are the way to go. But yes, the RPs are taking a lot of damage. That Octo, that Octo attack is doing its job. Holy crap, that is, that is doing a very effective job. So, Kaiden, well done in the counter rush. He, this is what I mean. He was playing too timid, and now he's not playing too timid. This is, this is exactly how he should be. He's playing with an appropriate level of timidity. Granted, he's also broke, but it's appropriately timid. I mean, now he's going to be able to find that factory on his way back, take care of the neck, and now it's just a matter of four Octos versus two ATHCs. A bit of a tough battle, but the ATHCs aren't at full health. Oh, and the Octos are going to find that factory. Okay, good. So, well, okay, I don't think good. I mean, okay, it's something like I'm favoring Kaiden, but Kaiden has lost the last four games, so I don't know what happened in the game. Okay, he won game five, but he's... It's good to see that there is a potential counter. Admittedly, a counter rush, and I don't think this is the only counter, but still. A potential counter. Still, the mechs are not going to be doing too much damage to the Octos. And the Octos are going to be able to take care of this factory, so both players are basically at the edge of what they can be. A mech is moving up to the top, but it won't, there's no resources. Vikram isn't getting any money. He can't actually do anything with this. While Kitan... Why is he chasing after the man? Oh, I guess he doesn't know that Vikram doesn't have any resources to do anything with. I mean, yeah, it's not entirely surprising since he probably assumes that Vikram has like, a whole farm of resource processors somewhere off in the corner of the map that he's getting tons of cash from. Thankfully, he's not assuming that it's his only thing, so he is going for the factory as well as the mech, ultimately. So, Kitan doing a good job getting rid of that factory, but unfortunately his Octos are out of position! His Octos are out of position! This is going to be the key battle of the game, and his Octos are not in position to deal with it. And unfortunately, losing that Arcticus does mean he doesn't have a lot of energy to actually order his troops around effectively. I mean, he he has enough energy to order around these Arc these Octos once. And the HTC is, of course, moving back, but Vikran, Vikran's out of energy. Vikran is out of energy, and one of the Octos is actually going back. It looks like he's going to be going back to try to regenerate. But no, the, the HTCs are running away. Unfortunately, Octos aren't fast enough to catch up with them. So the HTCs are running away, and that will be enough just for the Octos to get beaten back. I think I think Kaiden has lost this. A really, really neat setup, though. I mean, both players are losing everything, for one thing. But yeah, an Octopod in the base, in the main base, would have helped out a lot. And yeah, Vikran out of energy now, so these Octos will be able to take care of the ATCs. And oh, actually, oh, hey! Kitan actually won! How about that? Kitan's actually won. He's beaten back the, the ATCs. Vikran's out of energy, so he can't micro them anymore. So yeah, the Octos have actually managed to beat back the ATCs, so they can win. Needs to get rid of this mech, though. But that's about it. That's, that's it. Wow. That was... Unexpected. That was really unexpected. I I didn't see that coming, but that, that's a way of countering it. Just counter rush. I don't know if it's the best way of countering it, but it's a way of countering it for sure. So yeah, that's the game. Kitan just won. Well done to Kitan. So yeah, Vikran will likely be surrendering anytime soon. If not, he's just going to drop off the timeline and... Yeah, there you go. GG. Vikran has surrendered. <laughs> Holy crap.
That, wow. Well done. So, Kain 1, so I hope you enjoyed that, and have a good night, everybody.